Hello, my beautiful friends. Hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be doing my November speed reviews, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you, and let's get started. All right, so these are products for November and October, really. When I get a new product, I put it in my little basket and I test it out. And these are the products that I feel like I've got good rounded out thoughts on. So I went back and forth on whether I was going to rank them or not. And I just, I don't think I can rank them. I love so many of them and it's really, really hard. So I don't think we're going to rank today. I think I'm just going to tell you my thoughts. Would I repurchase or not repurchase? And yeah, let's get into it. I will start kind of on the lower end, though, and we'll get to the more exciting stuff towards the um, end of the video. <laughs> so with that, okay, starting with the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin blurring up balm. I got mine in the shade Universal. I picked this up during the Sephora sale. A lot of this stuff I picked up during the Sephora sale. And I haven't really like made a dent into it. I just kind of dip my brush into it. And this, this is <laughs> super interesting, really unique. I didn't purchase it for a really long time because I was very nervous on how to use it. Um, I actually wish that I would have picked up a tinted shade. So this is a universal and I thought maybe I could use it as like a primer and I could still use it as a primer, maybe under a more matte foundation, but it, it's, it's really weird. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, I wish I would have got a colored version so that I could use the Blurring Balm Serum that we'll talk about in a second, and then this on top of that serum, right? So I don't know how much I'm going to reach for this because it is so finicky. And I had one of my wonderful subscribers comment that maybe this would be better for summer months. And I think that will be the case. I think that when the summer months come around and I'm using foundation and it's a little bit hotter. I wonder if this would do a really good job of keeping any kind of sweating oils at bay underneath that foundation, right? So this is super interesting, really unique. Um, I wish I would have got a colored shade. I still actually might. I might pick up a tinted shade just because it has the most weird like texture that's incredible and very smoothing and seamless feeling. So I just think, I think I want to try a different shade, but yeah, I'm not sure. So would I repurchase? Not if I used all of the universal. I don't think I would repurchase the universal at this moment. That's my thoughts. That's a weird product. Super unique. <laughs> um, this is the Tom Ford lip liner in the shade 107 fire. Love the shade. But personally, for me, it's not knocking my socks off, and I have lip liners I like more. So I'm glad that I picked it up, but I would probably, honestly, when I run out of it, I would look for a cheaper alternative <laughs> shade that is similar, because um, Tom Ford is, <laughs> it's, it's an expensive brand. But I mean, I don't mind purchasing the expensive price tag. It's just that it's just a lip liner. It's just lip liner, like a lipstick that's exquisite with formula, I feel like is more worth it than a lip liner, right? Foundation, worth it. Lip liner, not so worth it. So wouldn't repurchase, but incredible. Really glad I picked it up. The color is gorgeous. <laughs> Makeup by Mario. This is the Surreal Skin Soft Setting Spray. This has, <laughs> if you watched my new at Sephora ranking video, a lot of these products were in that video. And it was just, these are so, I love so much of these. <laughs> um, it was way, way too hard to rank. But I talked about in that video how this has the most incredible mister, and I still feel that way. This has the best mister on a bottle I've ever sprayed on my face. 
However, I don't feel like it does a whole lot. It might make the powders look a little bit better, but I don't think it does anything for longevity or anything like that. So, you know, this might be my second favorite because the Charlotte Tilbury is the best setting spray of all time in my head. So then this might be number two. So what I repurchase depends on, you know, I'd probably repurchase it during a sale. If I ran out, I would repurchase it during a Sephora sale, but it's good. Just not blowing my socks off. Amazing. I picked up during the Sephora sale, this little puff to use with my makeup by Mario powder or my loose powders, powders in general. This has changed my life. <laughs> I love this so much much. I saw people using triangular puffs under their eyes, but I was like, meh, I don't need it. Um, yeah, I need it. I don't think I could ever be without it. <laughs> um, this is a Sephora one. So it was really, really decently priced during the sale and I would pick up more. And if I lose this, I might cry. <laughs> so this is incredible. Absolutely changed my powder under my eyes game. This is Wow. 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 If you haven't tried a triangular puff under your eyes, I'm telling you they're different than a brush and they're different than even a circle puff. Like I was using circle puffs. This is better, better. I love it's so soft. It's great. It's really great for under eye powder. I love it. Perfect. <laughs> this is the Merit Trio blush set that they came out for holiday. And I think that it's only available at Sephora now. And I'm not even sure if it's available at Sephora anymore. I didn't see it on the Merit website for their Black Friday sale. So that's disappointing. Um, I have two of the shades already. And I'm glad to have a minis so I can put them in my bag. But um, Bespoke is my all-time favorite Merit color they've ever come out with. Bespoke is incredible in the cheek and the lipstick amazing. I just wish, I wish they made this more accessible. I wish it was on their website. I don't know. Maybe it was and now it's not anymore. I just, it's sad that it's limited edition. It's sad that Bespoke is limited edition, but I mean, the Merit blushes are an incredible formula. Amazing. I love the flush bombs. It's just, I wish that Bespoke was not limited edition. I wish that Merit would come out with a glaze eye shadow that's not limited edition <laughs> but i'm just wishing and dreaming over here this is the lipstick trio they came out with for holiday same kind of thing absolutely amazing i am so disappointed that i didn't see this on their website for black friday um and i uh they're limited edition and when it's on sephora now but it says it's only in store so I just, man, oh man, I wish it was more accessible because I love this trio and I would, I recommend it to everybody. If you see it, pick it up. I think it's incredible. The shades are amazing. I did a video swatching the trio, uh, both trios, both holiday trios. And if you can find them, I would say, check out that video. I think they're incredible and they're worth it. I just wish, I wish they were more accessible, but when Merit says limited edition, they mean it. So there's that. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. They they say what they mean. They mean what they say. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the viral Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And this is amazing. I love this so much. This is an iced coffee. Incredible. I want to buy more flavors, shades, whatever. This is so good. As soon as this runs out, I will purchase another one. 100%. This is a repurchase product in iced coffee. I'm not running out to purchase the other flavors because I love iced coffee so much. But 100% iced coffee, when it runs out, I will buy another one. I will buy another one. Actually, kind of want to buy another one now so I can have two. One in my purse and one on my desk. But whew, I love it so much. I wish that it lasts longer lasted longer. I wish the smell and the scent lasted longer because it is a very short-lived scent and smell, but it's worth it. Worth it. The way it smells like iced coffee and it makes me so happy, worth it. <laughs> this is the Armani Luminous Silk 
aqua highlighter. Mine is in the shade three. It's like the rosy, um, bronzy, rosy, champagne-y one. Um, this is incredible. I absolutely love this. I think it looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. It is a sheer wash of color, so it's like a very um, natural highlight, nothing too intense. Um, but, you know, I'm not running out to purchase more colors. When I tried the blush, completely knocked my socks off, and I ran and purchased every single color of the Armani Beauty blushes, the liquid blushes. I have a video on my channel so watching all of them because I love them so much. But this, I mean, I do really love and enjoy it. Would I repurchase? You know, um, maybe not. If I ran out of it, I have a lot of other highlighters that are very similar in color and intensity. I don't know if I would repurchase this, but it is incredible and I'm glad I picked it up. I just, it's not, it's not the most knock my socks off. I have to go pick up all the other colors formula. So there's that. <laughs> Um, this is the Nanessa Myricks Yummy Skin Moisture Repair Balm Serum. This is the orange one, and I have been so intrigued by this ever since it came out, but Nanessa Myricks, there's something very intimidating about her brand to me, just how innovative she is with her products. <laughs> so I waited a long time, but this is absolutely amazing. I love this. This is smoothing, hydrating, perfect base, like incredible base for foundation. Um, doesn't pair well with like my Patrick Ta because that one's very glowy and you, I end up looking a little too glowy, but with like more of a skin-like or matte finish foundation, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I love the way it makes my face feel. It just feels so hydrated and like it's drinking water. I love this. This is incredible. I would repurchase this if I ran out of it. I would repurchase it. I think it's amazing. 100% did what I wanted it to do, which was replace the lawn comb, um, little putty, uh, pore filling, hydrating primer that lawn comb has because it's not available at Sephora anymore. This, this is, if you love that one and you're looking for a alternative that's more accessible, this is amazing. I love this. So good. Wood repurchase, 100%. It's pore filling and hydrating and smoothing and all the things, all the good things. <laughs> okay. Merit Retrospect Perfume. I don't talk a lot about perfumes on my channel. I am not a perfume person. I've spent like <laughs> the last four years almost pregnant and smells um, affect my pregnant nose. <laughs> But this, I use every single day. I love it so much. It smells incredible. Hair, musk, a little bit of floral, a little bit of sweet. It's just, it's it's wild. And I love it so much. It's gorgeous. The packaging is the most oh, beautiful luxe glass bottle. I love it so much. This is incredible. I will 100% repurchase this. But Merit wonderfully sent me another in PR. So I have a backup already and I use it every single day and I'm going to go through it. It blows my mind. I just love it so much. It's incredible. Order purchase. No questions asked. <laughs> and it's not that expensive for a perfume. So House Labs BH Hybrid Lip Glaze in Persimmon. This is my second of these lip glazes and I I don't know what I've been waiting for, really. I wish I wish it had a little bit more pigment. I really do. I wish that oh, it's hard to get it out. <laughs> I wish it had a little more pigment, like on the first swipe, but it really does build on itself beautifully. I love how smoothing it makes my lips look. I love, love, love this color. And because I picked up this color and I also have guava, I want to pick them all up. This is a formula that I want to have every single color of. And that says something in my collection, <laughs> says something huge to me. <laughs> so absolutely love, very smoothing, very line filling, no plumping sensation at all. It just makes your look, lips look full and pouty and 
smooth, but not painful. None, none of that painful stuff happening. So absolutely amazing. Love that gloss. Oil, gloss. Glaze, lip glaze. So a gloss. <laughs> okay. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Blush and Glow Palette. This is the limited edition blush and glow palette that Makeup Forever came out with. And I've been using it and it's amazing. It's so good. I mentioned in my Sephora video, new at Sephora video, that this pairs perfectly with the full face palette that we're going to talk about in a minute. <laughs> This is just a perfect companion for it. I think it makes so much sense if you have the first one to pick this up because you can mix and match those blushes and highlighters and it's just six highlighters, six blushes, incredible colors. I love, I love how fun it is to combine colors. It's just so fun, but it is just blushes and highlighters. So. I mean, and since it's limited edition, I probably won't be able to repurchase it ever, but I'm really, really glad that I picked it up and I highly recommend if you love these colors. Yes, definitely. I mean, there's like a bright orange and a really dark purple and it's just so good. I love it. I love it. Love, love, love. Wonderful formula, creamy, gorgeous. Yes, I love it. Just can't repurchase it. Sad that it's limited edition, but really good. I picked up the perfect <laughs> Westman Atelier blush shade. This is the Baby Cheeks blush stick in Bichette. And man, I can't believe I waited so long. It's the perfect red brick blush. It's so gorgeous. And I love this way more than any of the colors I've tried previously from Westman Atelier. This is it. This is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Not hard to use on my more lighter skin tone. It's amazing. It looks so pretty. I just um, I posted a video, a uh, can't stop thinking about makeup video, and I used this in it, and it just looks so gorgeous. I love this color. I will repurchase this color. Probably wouldn't repurchase the other West Montelier colors, but this one I will 100%. Amazing, incredible color. Love, 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 love. This is, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't believe that I waited so long to pick this up. This has changed my life. <laughs> that's, that's a little dramatic, but you would have to pry this out of my cool dead hands because I use this every day. I used it today. It's getting messy. I need to clean it, but I love it so much. Um, I, the only thing is, I mean, I don't use it for foundation. I don't think I, I don't like using cream foundations anyways. Um, but you don't have to wear foundation. You know, I could just do concealer and call it good. I just, Oh my gosh. Contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, concealer, all the things in this fantastic palette. Absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it. And I feel like I use it a lot and I haven't hit pad on anything. So we'll see how long these uh, creams last, but man, oh man, oh man. Man, it's so good. I love it. I am so happy I picked this up. This worth it. <laughs> One of the best, best things Makeup Forever's come out with this year, period. Love it. These are the Revi Beauty. These are the three colors that um, Allie Glines released for fall. The last three colors in the Revi Beauty Effortless Lips line. We got Daisy, um, Zinnia, and Verbena. And I think these are my favorite favorite colors that she's ever come out with. They are perfect for fall. Daisy has like a super pretty, I mean, it's a neutral, super gorgeous, neutral color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Was really, I think it was missing from the Effortless Lips line, and I think it's a perfect addition. 
Zinnia is my color in a nutshell. It's like a brownish pink, but a little bit deeper. It is, I think she said it was the deeper version of my favorite shade that I can't remember the name of right now. <laughs> my favorite one. Dang it. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit deeper version of my favorite one that I have in the bag uh, drawer. I wonder if I'll remember. Oh, well. Um, incredible. And then Verbena is a perfect dark, like, um, very brown shade. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you can see I have been using these. This is an incredible formula. I really reach for my Review Beauty Effortless Lips when they're so, the packaging is incredible. When I want something fast and easy, no thought, no lip liner, none of that, no joke, just one and done. Well, maybe like two, three and done because I really like to build them up, but <laughs> absolutely 100% 100% recommend these Revy lip effortless lips. They really are effortless. If there's a color that you love, you should try it. You will not be disappointed. Seriously, effortless. I mean, it's in the name. It means they mean it. She means it. She means it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I love them. This is the Armani Beauty. There isn't even, it says eye tint, eye tint in 22M. It's their liquid eyeshadow. I actually picked up three more during the uh, Black Friday sale that Armani Beauty had. I can't wait to get them in my hands. This is an incredible formula. And that says a lot. To me, it says a lot. When I want to pick up every single color in a line, like the Revy Beauty Effortless Lips, <laughs> like this, it says a lot. This is an incredible liquid eyeshadow formula, super smoothing, blends out like a dream. I cannot wait to try the other colors I picked up. I love this formula. I think in my future, I will own them all, period. So, so good. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. This is a new holy grail, period. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It doesn't stay up as long as I wish it did, but I wish that there was a magic mascara that would make my eyelashes stand straight up, <laughs> but there isn't. So this looks incredible and it is so easy to take off. I love how easy it is to take it off. That's a huge plus with tubing mascaras. So I, I mean, I, I will repurchase this 100% will be purchased this hourglass mascara. I love the wand. It's amazing. I slept on this for way too long too. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Absolutely incredible. Love, 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 love. Will we purchase 100%? 100%. <sighs> this powder has changed my life. <laughs> Again, it's a little dramatic, but seriously, I love this powder. This is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Soft Blur Setting Powder. Now, I only use it underneath my eyes, and I always use it with a little puff, but it is incredibly smoothing, a little bit brightening because it's fair pink. It looks so good. It's the best powder that I've tried, second to the original Givenchy formula. I haven't tried the new Givenchy formula, but I don't think I really need to because I have this and this is amazing. I love, I've heard a few people complain about how it just kind of hangs out in the cap because it is full. It hangs out in the cap, but I love that. It's so easy. I just have to dip my little poof in it and it, <laughs> and it's super easy to get to. I don't have to fuss with it. I don't have to open anything. I don't have to tip it over. I just know it's in there. I love that. And you know, loose powder is going to make a mess anyways. So I love this. Absolutely incredible. 100%. If you're looking for a new loose powder, I recommend this. Dry skin, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely incredible. Does not emphasize any texture, weirdness. Yep. 100% recommend. I will repurchase. I will repurchase. Yep. <laughs> okay. <sighs> These are, I spoke about these in my new at Sephora video too, the Patrick Ta Eyeshadow Duos, the 
glittery, super fun, absolutely gorgeous, hyped up, broke the internet eyeshadow duos. I have a video where I swatched all five on my eyeballs. And you would have to pry these out of my hands too, because I love them so very much. I don't see myself ever going through an eyeshadow, ever. <laughs> but if something happened to one, if I broke it, if I lost it, 100% would repurchase. I want them all in my collection. I need them all. I use them all all the time. <laughs> like seriously, I just use a palette and I'm like, mm, I need a little bit more glitter. And then I pick the one that I want and then I use it all the time. Almost every single time I do my eyeshadow. So I think that says a lot. Absolutely love these. I think that they're worth it. I think that it is a very special formula. I don't slurry, pearls, whatever. I think it's extremely glittery and so gorgeous and multidimensional on the eyes. So 100%. They are so reflective in the camera. <laughs> I love these. Would repurchase if, you know, if my house caught on fire, I would pick my favorite one and repurchase it for sure. But, you know, after we replaced, after we replaced everything else, <laughs> makeup's last on the list, but it would be on the list. <laughs> so last, but oh my gosh, maybe my favorite thing that I've been testing out and trying is the Lisa Eldridge Rouge Experience Lipsticks. This case has my initials on it. <laughs> I love it. Audrey Michelle. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. The formula is gorgeous. I did a video where I swatched all seven of these on my lips. And it makes me kind of sad that I don't have a case for all of them. Because I really, I wish I did. I wish I had a case for all of them. But the cases are very expensive. So maybe someday. <laughs> but as of right now, I use them out of these little bullets. It's almost like a lipstick bullet. It's just a little bit lighter they're very lightweight um and they have a cap on them so nothing's getting weird in there absolutely love how she decided to do this i love how we have this option this little bit cheaper option um to not have to buy a case for every single color but man oh man these are so beautiful i'm wearing one today i don't um 183 i think it's in the description box <laughs> but absolutely love so smoothing beautiful um i pair them with usually with her lip liners my favorite lip liners but seriously so good check out that video if you're thinking about colors because i swatched them all and it was super fun but yes 100 percent. i would repurchase these two i love this formula her velvet formula and then her rouge experience formula they're my top two top two formulas that she has. I prefer these a little bit more than the luxuriously lucent. I think that's what her like lighter formula is called. Eh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but she has a sheerer formula of lipstick <laughs> and then she has the insanely saturated formula and those two are good, but um, yeah, velvet and rouge experience are my top two. So incredible 100% if you haven't checked out Lisa Eldridge, I have a lot of Lisa Eldridge content on my channel. I did a whole video where I swatched all of the ribbon options because ribbon is a beautiful red and there is a ribbon in the Rouge Experience. So check out that video. Check out the other videos. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel because I do. I try to do these every month where I go through and tell you my really good rounded out thoughts instead of first impressions. I think that's super important. So. That's all the products I have to talk about today. Wow, this was a, a long one. <laughs> Hopefully you made it to the end. <laughs> but yeah, please subscribe so you can see all the products I'm currently testing out that will be in my December speed reviews. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. What are you gonna say? Nothing. Oh. Hi, and I'll bye. <laughs>
That is a repair balm serum. That's a, don't twist it. Ooh, it's lipstick. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. It has the L on it. Yeah. An L? Oh, it's an L with lips. Good job. Oh, you're going to look at another one? Look at all of them. What? Okay. With that, if you made it to the end of the channel, thank you so much. I love and appreciate. What? I said the end of the channel. Huh. I think it's time to eat. Get a snack. Take a nap. <laughs> okay.